Our top story this morning uh, affects all of us. Uh, Households using gas instead of electricity. You could see your bills increase by £100 as part of a new, what is termed, energy security strategy. Yes, the Energy Secretary, Grant Shapps, is to unveil the plans dubbed Powering Up Britain during a visit to a nuclear fusion development facility in Oxford. Other measures in the plan include a scheme to insulate 300,000 homes and a major expansion of offshore wind farms. But what does all of this mean for each of us? Let's speak now to the head of policy for Net Zero Watch, Harry Wilkinson, who's here with us to have his say. We should point out at this point you're sort of sceptical of the concept of Net Zero from the very outset. So do you welcome these measures? Well, I think these are really tinnied uh, measures from the government. We've just been going through an energy crisis where people have been really struggling to heat their homes. And the government's now saying we need to increase the cost of gas. Uh, so that people's heating is even more expensive. Where is the focus on affordability? We're not against the government aiming to reduce emissions, Mm. but what we're saying is that actually affordability, energy security, need to be valued uh, as probably more importantly... Um, or certainly equally importantly. And what do you make of the the way the High Court last year branded the government's net zero plan inadequate, that they weren't uh, setting out the ways in which they were going to make those changes in in an appropriate way? It's understood that I think they've only met something like a quarter of their targets. Well, I think this shows really the difficulty of having a legislated target for net zero. The government, of course, can't say that it can be sure that it will meet net zero. Nobody can. There are huge uncertainties here. And a lot of the progress that we need to see in reducing emissions to meet net zero would have to come from technologies we haven't even developed yet or would certainly Mm. need to take uh, current technologies forward. So nobody knows. So the government is being given an impossible task. They can't be sure that they will meet net zero. At the front of The Guardian, questioning whether or not carbon capture is the right direction for the government to be taking, they say it's a huge gamble. There are lots of warnings that the technology is actually unproven. Do you agree with that? I think that's right. I mean, where it's been tried around the world, it's always been massively expensive. So it's unproven in the sense that we haven't been able to develop it affordably commercially. Uh, It's been done, but it's been very expensive. So, Harry, what has to be done? Just explain this to me. You know, people are tuning today and thinking... Is my boiler gas or electric? Probably gas. Uh, It is not their fault that it is gas. It's just the boiler that they have. What are are the choices that face them in the medium term? Well, I would say to them, sit tight. If you need to replace your boiler at the moment, you can still um, get a gas boiler. That's going to be the safest option for most people. If you have a very well-insulated homes, then a heat pump might be right for you. But for... (coughs) most households, it's just too big a risk to take because you may need to do tens of thousands of pounds of energy efficiency upgrades to get a heat pump to work. And, and most people can't take that risk. So, so wait a minute, you, you just said, I'm not sure you said that right, you said uh, get a gas boiler. You mean get an electric boiler? Well, I think a, a, a gas boiler w- would be appropriate for most homes. Electric they're, going to be boilers, pe- they're going to be penalised for a gas boiler. I, I know, and, and that's what's so absurd about the government's policy. Um, when it remains the cheapest option for most people. So the cheapest option, the most efficient option, but not the option that the government want us to take. That's exactly right. Right, OK, right. And okay. um, what about what's happening in the States? There's this, uh, unfortunately, termed the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act that President Biden has created. It's his little baby, isn't it, to try and boost sales in, in green technologies, particularly directed at things like electric cars so that they can become more affordable. Apparently, uh, Jeremy Hunt's bristling at all of this, but yet the Labour Party is saying we should try and have a similar IRA over here. This is where the big global debate around climate policy is at the moment, because America's announced all these subsidies for green technologies, and you've got other countries scrambling to keep up. But I think that's a race to the bottom. You know, we know from past experience that when governments try to pick the winners, uh, it can often end in disaster. What we need is competitive uh, markets to reveal to us which technologies would be best. So I think Jeremy Hunt is right to be concerned about this, and hopefully the government won't try to emulate this, but will actually try and develop a different approach, approach which is based on competition, rather than just f- funneling money at technologies in the hope that they will work, but certainly not the certainty.
OK, well, that is the take of Harry Wilkinson, head of policy for Net Zero Watch, sceptical uh, of the concept of Net Zero. Thank you very much.